The P601 course is for the thorough examination and testing of local fuel ventilation systems. The course is managed and owned by the British Occupational Hygiene Society and it forms part of their suite of courses uh, which covers thorough examination and testing, which is P601, P602 which is design, P603 which looks at the PPE requirements and P604 which looks at commissioning of energy systems. The P601 course is often seen as the, the introductory course uh, to, the, to the suite of modules and it's widely recognised throughout the LED industry uh, by the HSE in their document HSG 258 which is the, the industry guidance document for the cost regulations. It's recognised by the LED industry forum um, which is a group of organisations which look at all things to do with LED and provide a um, pathway for the LED industry to, to work towards and it's, in, it's included on their competency matrix and is it, um, recognised by the Institute of LEV Engineers as one of the, the core uh, qualifications to achieving their competency card accreditation for thorough examination and testing. The course covers a wide range of topics uh, relating to uh, local exhaust ventilation systems. It looks at why is thorough examination and testing important what are the legal requirements, the different types of systems you might encounter, the different components on those systems, the, the different types of fans you will come across, the different types of filters you will come across. There's some maths and calculations involved in calculating uh, velocities and areas and air volume flow rates, pressure drops and converting pressures into uh, vol volume flow rates, and it tells you where you can go and find guidance um, if you come across systems you're not too sure about or you see something new. Where can you go and look up more information on those? It will also give you guidance on what to test and where to test. It's a tough course. It's not easy. Uh, there's a lot to fit in in a relatively short period of time. It's a, it's a four day course. Um, three days of which are lectures and there's a day of exams at the end of the course. To pass the course, you have to undertake a formative practical assessment. This is where the class tutor will want to see you using the test equipment, taking some readings, and then using those readings and telling us um, you understand what those readings mean by completing a few tasks and answering a few questions. You then have two exams, one of which is an open book practical based questions exam and followed by a closed book uh, theory exam. And once you've done those and hope that you've passed those, you will then be notified by the BOHS that you can submit two reports. Now these two reports have to be done out in the field at your own work where you are going to go and actually test two real systems, different systems, and submit those reports to the BOHS for an independent assessment. And once you've successfully done that, you've sent your reports off, they're all okay, they've been checked, you'll get a certificate that comes through saying, congratulations, you've passed the P601. Now that's the starting point on your journey for thorough examination and testing of LED systems. It's not the be all and end all. It is a very early days introduction course uh, for testing. The Institute of LED Engineers recommend that you should also hold P602, which is the design course, because once you've tested systems, in the unfortunate instance where they might, might fail or might not provide control, you need to be able to advise clients what they need to do to put it right. So, the P602 design course will, will cover some of that as well. When it comes to reporting your, your tests, uh, it looks at what content is needed in your reports to meet the cost regulations requirements. And we discuss how that should be laid out. And we follow the principles laid out by the Institute of LED Engineers in their standard uh, thorough examination and test report uh, documents. And 
what should be laid out, what should be included, how it should be communicated, and the type of language you need to use. Uh, how do you get those messages across to the customer? There are a number of course providers in the UK uh, who can do uh, P601 courses. Some of them are online uh, and you do them remotely. Some of them are in classroom based and they can be found on the British Health Social Hygiene Society's website under their approved course providers. There's also an international module, uh, IP601, which is uh, available for people around the world. Very, very similar to the P601 in terms of technical content. Uh, however, it doesn't look at the UK. The, the P601 is based around UK uh, legislation, whereas the IP601 is based around industry best practice.